we used to call these mudder games, but with all the turf, there's no more mud. And in some cases, like tonight's Kennedy Cedar Falls game, there's not even rain. Jack Leto joins us live from the dome, and you'll have perfect 72 degree weather tonight, Jack. Hey Scott, hope everyone is staying dry out there. Out there, sorry about the PA. We are safe and sound underneath the roof here at the Uni Dome. But once the varsity game gets started up, fans are ready to blow that roof clean off because Kennedy is coming to town. The Tigers are in prime playoff position right now, but it didn't start that way for Cedar Falls. You never really want to lose, um, but it's one of those things you better learn from it when you do. After starting the season one and two, Cedar Falls went back to work. Since then, they've won three out of four. Their only loss in that stretch was by three points to six and one Pleasant Valley. And you got to learn how to win those close games, and and uh, our kids have battled back. They've been resilient. Playing teams that are able to kick our butts and show our weaknesses and stuff it's like it's good for us to see like what we need to grow in and how, how we're going to do it the tigers have a lot of talent up front with nebraska commit jake peters at tackle and future hawkeye edge rusher drew campbell who'll have at least a few reps against his future iowa teammate nick brooks it's gonna be good for me good for him really good competition there coach white's got another uh, good team they're gonna be a physical team against you you just got to come off and be physical back at them the key to being a more physical team is like practices like these. You just got to take every rep uh, and do your work your hardest on every single rep and practice, and so that'll translate into the game. Friday night, we'll have another layer of meeting for head coach Brad Remmert and the Tigers. It'll be their last regular season game at the Unidome. Next year, they're moving into a new on-campus facility. As far as regular season, we've been playing in the Dome since I believe it's 1977. So I anticipate a big crowd, and we have to figure ways to get them involved early. It's super cool playing in the Uni Dome. Uh, as a kid, I always watched Tiger football games on Friday night in the Uni Dome. So that has a special place in my heart. It, uh, it'll be a definitely an emotional night. But if it all goes right for the Tigers, they'll be back for the state semifinals. Yeah, want to keep playing in there. It's, it's been a good place to us. Last regular season game at the Dome. We will be back here for the state semifinals in November. As for these two teams, Cedar Falls and Kennedy, well, in a loaded Class 5A, as you know, Scott, there is a long way to go. Back to you.